Hey there everyone, Stefan from FireAlarm.com here. Today, I wanted to make a brief video highlighting some popular manual pull stations and, more importantly, showing how to reset these manual stations in case they are pulled or initiated. As always, all of the products mentioned in today's video can be purchased on FireAlarm.com right now. Let's get into it. First up, we have the fairly common addressable Edwards or EST SIGA-278. This is what is referred to as a dual action manual station, which, as it implies, requires two separate actions to activate. The first being to lift this plastic panel, and the second being the actual pull. This specific manual station, when pulled, can only be reset by using a key, almost always included with the device. After pulling, insert your key, turn it, which will then reveal the inside of the pull station. After unactuating the trigger inside, you may close the manual station back up, turn back the key, and your device is reset. Remember, of course, that you then have to return to the fire alarm control panel, acknowledge the alarm, and reset the system. One of the most important things to know is that all key type manual stations have specific keys that must be used to reset them. They all vary, there is no singular, universal fire alarm manual station key. Manual stations may require a CAT30, another one may require a CAT45, CAT60, etc. Some manufacturers, such as Tyco Simplex Grinnell, now Johnson Controls, have their own specially made keys. In Simplex's case, they have their own Simplex B key to open most of their manual stations. All in all, it's important to always look at your manufacturer's installation manuals in order to find out what key your manual station uses, and if you can't find that, you can always contact FireAlarm.com today. Next, we have an older addressable Siemens HMS-S manual station that is a single action device. This device specifically can only be reset using its accompanying Allen or hex key. Just as if you were using a key, just insert the hex key, turn, open up the station. Please note that some manual stations will have a switch inside that you may actually have to physically reset. After this, close back up your pull station. It's that easy. The biggest issue with hex key devices is that not only do some use different custom hex shapes, which sometimes can be very hard to find, but most of these hex keyways strip after many years of use. So at a certain point, they become impossible to reset, as there is no way to properly use an Allen or hex key on them anymore. Just as with any manual station, make sure you return to your fire alarm control panel, acknowledge the trouble or alarm caused by you activating the device, and reset your system. Remember that manual stations can either be addressable or conventional. If they are addressable, there is usually a module built into the back box of the device. Any conventional station can also be made addressable onto a system as long as a new addressable module is installed and programmed specifically for that manual station. Also, I should mention that many manual stations have a replaceable glass rod. This glass rod is broken when the manual station is pulled. This specifically identifies that the device was activated even if reset. Once pulled and the glass rod breaks, it should be replaced as soon as possible in order for the manual station to remain protected. You may run into a few other types of manual stations, but this is all I have for you for now. All of these manual stations, whether they are older or newer, can be found and purchased on FireAlarm.com. If you don't see something you're looking for, make sure you contact us either via email, phone, or our live chat directly on our website. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching, until next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like below and subscribe to our channel for the latest on all things Fire Alarm, as well as future FireAlarm.com updates. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for more information on our products, fire safety facts, and so much more.